Hey party people, this is Jeremy from Jumbo Live Plays Games and today I'm here with a Kickstarter preview of Gardens of Babylon by Cackleberry Games. This is a one to four player game, but today we're going to look at the solo mode only. I'm going to have a preview, uh, a kind of a playthrough version of this, so you're going to be watching me play through it and explain the rules as I go along. Uh, but let's go ahead and get back to what this is. This is a tile laying game where you're creating a pyramid, and as you go up that pyramid, the points for each tile will go up. Um, you are gardeners, and you are trying to place your seeds uh, in certain areas to score the points, but you're also w watching where you place them because there's a possibility of where the water goes down these tiles. Um, you can continuously cascade down there and replace other people's uh, little seeds eventually. And it's a very interesting little planning, uh, planning slash reading, reacting kind of thing going on there. Really interesting stuff. Feel free to jump around the playthrough as you, f you so choose, uh, but all rules will be covered and the scoring. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Let's get to the table. All right, party people, we are taking a look at the solo mode for Guardians of Babylon, and uh, this is really simple. Um, the rules are simple, and the AI uh, structure is simple. Now, this is a, these actually have these tiles that come together like this. They're in 3-3-2. Three, three, uh, so I have a couple 3-3s three, and 2s here. So 3, I have a 2, actually, I'm sorry, three, a 2, a 3, a 3, and a 2. So that's 10. All right, so we have 2 five, eight, 10. All right. And you can play a long game, which is uh, 13. But what we do is we have to set up with our actual gardeners out here. We get six as if this was a two player game. Now in the game, the actual multiplayer game, you actually on your turn, when you move, you would place one of these out. They're not set out like this, but in the AI, the solo mode, they're already set out like this. You have these four tiles here, and these will always be four tiles here. You're going to draw them at the end of your turn and you will, um, you will have those all available to you to look and prepare your strategy. Now you have your gardeners and then you have these seeds and these are your 36 seeds. And then the opponent doesn't have gardeners. They just automatically place and we'll show you how that works. And then I have my tiles over here. There are 45 tiles. They're going to be off screen uh, most of the time. And I want to make sure that you see things. So I'm going to kind of pan in and a lot of this stuff will be off screen uh, when we start. But I'm going to show you how uh, a turn basically works and we'll talk about it as we move. Um, and then I'll cut to certain parts so you can see more of the rules and how the game works. All right, party people, here we go. Um, so, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and create a path for me to go up. So what I'm gonna do, the first part of my turn is place, okay? You place a tile, and in this game, it's gonna be a little different of how thing placement works, but generally, it's between two tiles. It can't be on its own on the side over here off screen. It has to be between two tiles. The second part is movement. My gardener, I pick one gardener, and I can move up to three movement points, and that really just means moving across one tile up to the terrace. I know I can move because I have that right there. There are also little, little uh, walkthroughs that you can go through as well, and that's your other little walking space. All right, so then once I get to an unclaimed tile, I must stop, and I must place one of my seeds. And we'll talk about the cool little cascading thing, but right here is actually an opportunity where it will not cascade down because there's nothing that will touch it. I'm going right to the ground towel. All right, so I've secured one point, yes. And then the last part, the last part is draw a tile. Now the AI, all they do is take one of these tiles and then they place it, they place it, and they get the point. All right, but the thing is, is they don't have a guaranteed point, and nor do I, until this is sealed up and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So that, that's something that to worry about. Now we've already got something that could possibly go out here all the way to the top. Uh, this game is really puzzly. So you gotta, you gotta watch what you're doing early on in this game uh, because you are setting yourself up. Like I've opened this up now for uh, both ways here. And I'll kind of pan here. Let's go ahead and go in just a little bit. So you see where the water is right here on these tiles? They uh, basically, that means that like when there's another water flow, let's say like right here, and my guy was up here, I would take a, I could, let's say the AI was up here later on, that water, it would cascade down to here and it would take it out like that. But let's say uh, my mine was there, like this, it would cascade down and take out mine, like that. So that's, that's the cascading system, but you're gonna see that go back and forth in a very brutal manner here in a minute. Um, yeah. So let me see what I want to do because I can't do that. I can't get my, my person over there. So this is what I'll do. 
unfortunately I can't open it up. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll put that right there. Okay, so that's cascading. And then I'll draw. All right, now if I make any errors, I'll let you know in the lower thirds at the bottom, you'll see that. Um, and uh, we'll work from there, but let me pan out just a tad and go ahead and go back to going. Uh, so the AI, it's their turn. Like I said, they're gonna flip. And they have what uh, a tile here that has a bonus, little bonus flower on it. We'll talk about those, but they actually equal plus one, basically. Uh, let's see, for me, I, I really want to do this really bad, but I can't. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and save that for next time, but I want to be in an area where I can go up. So I'm going to go ahead and move this person right here. Now notice I didn't go up here. I can't, I can't create anything, but that's, it's very interesting at the bottom there. You got to watch it at the bottom. You think, oh, low key, that's not good, but it's, it actually is okay. All right. So the AI will take this over. As you can see, this moves really quickly in the beginning, but as I move across this, uh, we're going to have some issues that will arise. Uh, do I want to do this now? I guess so. So I'm going to get my first worker kind of up here with this bonus area because I want that bonus big time. I'm going to take that tile. And I'm, I mean, I'm kind of placing these speed with speed and uh, kind of haphazardly to see if I can work my way out of it. All right, here we go. So now I have the last tile over here. The key to that is, is that I want to seal this off one so that nobody else can get it. And here, I'll, uh, you know, when you, when you draw, I'm going to draw in a little bit. When this, this water is going off this way, I know there's no tile that can go over here like this. There's no tile that can go over there like that. There, there's only a tile that can go right here. So I know I'm good. Um, so I want to go ahead and move through here. That's one movement. And then I'll use two to get up there. And then that would be my layout. Okay. And that's the entire first row. Um, now, if we were to score this, it would basically go like this. Since this is level one, I would score one, two, three, four. And then I would take the bonus off. And I only have five, six, seven. So I had seven points for that row. And the AI has one, two, three, four. And then they would have five with that bonus. All right, so let's go ahead and pan back out. I'm gonna go ahead and get to, let's say row three, and then we'll come back. I'll show you where I'm at right now. All right? All right, for the AI, let's see. Oh boy, oh no, here we go. This is a nasty one right here. So they're going to take this over and now we're on, now we're on row three. So for, <laughs> I've come back here and this is a perfect opportunity to talk about cascading. Um, so cascading is a thing where you're going to watch this go down this flow stream and I'm about to have it go big time right here. Um, so we're going to go, <laughs> oh boy. So we placed here, the AI places there. It's going to cascade down here and it's going to continue going down that flow of water. And uh, boom, that's not good for your boy right here. So it moves those over, gone. Now that doesn't wash my people away. It just washes, um, just washes that away. That really stinks. Ugh. Um, mm, that's not really, there's nothing I can do about that. That's actually theirs. Man, that's what you got to do. I mean, that's, that's kind of where, th where things have gone now. Now, I, now there's, wow. Okay, <laughs> I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that one. Um, and I don't now. Now I don't have the best tiles either. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this. Mm, I want this to open up a little bit, so I'm gonna open it up so I have more opportunities to do to deal with it. Now I'm gonna move this person one through here two, up here three. All right. Now this is what I was banking on before, so that I can get here cascade down here and then uh, I'm good there all right you see the idea of what's going on it, it it's kind of it's just a think puzzle all the way through and I you know usually I'm not a huge fan of you know beat your score stuff but for some reason this is like a well it's just a well thought out puzzle and I like that you know that idea um, oh boy that that's not good either okay so <laughs> he places there he cascades down, 
Oh, gosh. Ugh, this is hurting. This is hurting early. And I don't feel good right now. So you can see it cascades down here. This is not good. And it took over two bonus tiles. <sighs> yeah, your boy's not doing so well. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. That doesn't do much for me either to place there, but I have to. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Well, no, we want to open it up this way at least so we can get back down there. All right, so I go up. Oh, that really hurts. Yeah, that really hurts. And as you can tell, I'm not really thinking it out here because Mr. Howard is not uh, doing the thinky thing. All right, so there you go. You can see I cascade it down there. That is my turn. I draw to one tile. The AI gets theirs. Oh, boy. So, I mean, it's just really like they are, I mean, they can essentially undo what you've done, as you can see, this cascade thing. And, it, and that part's easy, too. You know, um, that part's really easy. I think I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here. All right. I'm not sure how close you are. I'm kind of under under here playing with my <laughs> playing with my hand. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, let me check. Make sure you guys are too far. Whoa, too far away there. Yeah. All right. Let's get you. Yeah, we want to get you close enough where you can see. Um, I. So I really want to catch this path. I do have a way of doing that. I just got to protect it. Okay. So we'll do that. I just got to protect it. And I have to trust myself. Here we go. So I'm going to do that and place mine. So I get that. That's going to be three points because it's up here in the third row. Cascades down to here, yellow. Cascades down to here, yellow. So I got that tile back down here that I initially lost. And that's what we want. We want to get those tiles back, man. You know? Okay. So here we are. The AI. Oof. Oh, boy. But here's the deal. I'm not worried about it because it's going to come back here. I, I got something that can possibly go all the way back down. So I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not too worried here, but it stops here. So I, I okay, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to tell myself that I'm okay. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell myself it's going to be all right. All right. I'll, I'll kind of bring you down. Let's see. All right. Now we're on five. Hmm. Let's see. Should I take the same route of, hey, don't let them get, the, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to actually start, I'm going to get this little corner. So I'm basically, I'm trying to section off little parts here. So I'm going to go up here. That's one movement. So I placed, I moved, I plant, and then it cascades down to here. I'm going to take that over. Yeah, I'm making this, I'm making this look easy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm really making this look easy. And then I will place this here. AI. They will take over this one here. All right. Me, I've kind of set this one up for nothing. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set this one up as a movement tile like that. Now, for the sake of just showing you the rule, I'm going to kind of try to get someone over here to, to all the way up here. And I think I can do that now. I think I can. Let's see. One. No, I can't. Ah, oh, man. So this is this is what'll happen. I move one to over here. That refreshes his move to zero. I would do one. Oh boy, I still can't do it. Lord. Okay. So I can't do it here though. Let's see. I can do one. Oh, I still can't get up there. That's the problem. Here we go. I can do it right here. Um, so it'd be one, two. Three, yeah, there we go. So I can do it one, and it's kind of refreshed here. Then it'd be one to get up here, two, and then it refreshes, and then one. So that's how you get them all the way up, you know, across and stuff like that. Um, but I just realized this. I can't, I can't actually 
move up there. I can't move through somewhere where it hasn't been claimed. So I got I have to claim this one. I'm pretty sure I'm not messing up that rule, but I want to, I think I have to go here if it's un, it's unplanted. So what I'm going to do is, is since I did not place there back, back a while ago, I'm just going to go ahead and take this tile for right now, for right now. Although I may have given the AI opportunity. All right. If I made a mistake, I apologize. I'll go ahead and see if I need to clean that one up. Let's see. Because that was a mistake I made and I just kind of ran with it. And it's going to be a mistake. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, they got, that's okay though. I got this little open area, so I'm feeling good. Um, ooh. Now, I could try to leave this open. I do have that dominant. It'd be really nice if I had a tile that was going out only. And then that way I know this is cut off. Um, and I don't really even have to worry about traveling on that tile. But, ooh, I do. I do. Yay, I do. Okay, I do. I do. Yes. Okay, this is perfect. So I just need to travel up. So that's one. And then through that area, that's two. And then up here. And that's three. I mean, that's, that's just going to have to be what it is. So then I'll have that one. I place... I plant, I should say, and then I plant here. The water keeps going down and it's going to go all the way down. And that's, it's just a really cool system, by the way. I just think that's a very, very, very cool idea, a, a very cool system. Um, and then we'll go all the way up. Let's see. And you got to orientate these tiles. They kind of have an orientation thing that I've probably screwed up multiple times, but that's just kind of the idea. All right. Uh, let's see. So the AI has that. That's actually a really powerful one here because we're on one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's where six, seven, eight, nine. It's not, that's nothing to play around with. Thankfully, you know, it's cut off. Let's see. I'm in a situation though, moving forward. Let me go ahead and get, try to get you a little closer. All right. I'm in a situation. I was hoping that that would be a singular thing because now, well, no, it's fine. It's fine. As long as I can get around, I need to, I just need to have places that are open so I can get to the movement. So when I place that, I know I can move there. That's, that's the big one. I need to know I can move. All right. So we go across, we go up. Yeah. Why not? I'm going to start sectioning these off and then I'll get that. Not too worried about cascading at this point, but that's going to be the move. All right, the yeah, AI takes that. See, I'm not worried as we get higher because I'm, I've kind of made it, so I'm good to go. So now I know it's my turn, and I kind of plan this. So I know it's my turn, and I'm going to try to take that over. And I have the perfect tile to do that. I just need to be able to get to it. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to place that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go move down. That's one. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, man, if I could get, oh, if I can get up there. I can get there eventually, though. It's still going to be mine. So I'll go one, two, three. I'll get there eventually. I'm not too, I, I'm not going to be. You know, all, uh, all too worried there. And then I'm going to place up there in the AI. So they're going to get that cascade down to there, which they already have. Me, we want, the, we want to shut off valve a little bit. Um, tell you what, why don't we do that? Yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move up. I'll, I'll, save that. I'll save that move for later on. So now I still get this little cascade going on up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of pan up closer to where we are. Maybe a little, little wild up here when you see all these patterns. But I want to go ahead and cascade there getting these little bonus points too. That's, that's what you want. These bonus points as we get to the top, 
That's what you want. Okay. Now, when we get to the top, there's going to be nothing in their draw pile. So what we do is we shuffle and we place. All right. So we got this. All right. So they take that back. Oh, that's not good. That's some back end points right there. That water goes down here. And thankfully, it goes no further. Thankfully, it goes no further. But they do have that now. They have taken it over. Okay. So let me go ahead and pan in a little bit. All right. Let me go. All right. Now I got to get up and reach. Here we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. I tell you what. Why don't I do this? This is a power move. You ready? Last second power moves. I'm going to move up here. Okay. To this terrace. Place here. And then when I place here, it's going to cascade all the way down to here. Retake that one. Cascade down, and we're good. All right, so I take that back over. And this AI is getting this buck kick today. All right, so then I'm going to shuffle the three tiles I have remaining. I'm going to shuffle the tiles I have off screen. It was shuffling over here. All right, just to make sure I'm honest, okay, guys? I'm honest. I'm going to have to get up and move from behind here. And that's the one he's got. And boom. And then that last, oh, whoops, that's not mine. That's it. All right. And then this is going to be the last tile placed, which I have one that can get me up there. And that, party people, I will walk up here and I will take over these last ones right here because it goes down like that. All right. And there you go. That's the uh, full pyramid there. I'm going to get out the scoring tiles and just kind of show you a little bit about the scoring. I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing, but I'll, I'll kind of show you my final score. I don't like to walk people through my math while I'm counting and stuff like that, um, but I do want to have it on there. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to get these tiles out and then we'll get to the final score. I'm going to try to get you as close as possible, but I don't want to, I want you to see how the scoring works. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to count basically the, the, the one that right here is actually the points for each one of these on here. And we're going to move up the scale right here on the side. Um, so for example, here we go. The first row is worth one point a piece. So I have one, two, three, four, five, plus the bonus, which is five. Uh, I have five, six, seven, eight, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight points for the yellow. All right. And then we have for the AI, one, two, three, four. They got four. All right. So now we're at level two. And I'm, I put these markers here to make sure I remember that I've scored that, that line. Believe me, it's something for me. All right. So I have, let's see, two, four, six, eight. And that's nine, 10. So I have 10, which is 18. The AI has two, four, six, eight, nine, nine, 13. So 13 to 18 so far. I'm gonna put that up there. Oh man, nobody got that tile. Oh my goodness, that's a failed opportunity. Here we go, three, I'm, I'm sorry, three, six, nine, 10, 11. All right, so 11, that's uh, 29. All right, so hey, if I got some bad math, you're just gonna you're gonna see it happen right here. Shout out to math degrees, by the way. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Uh oh, here we go. Eleven, twenty-four. So it looks like hey, you know, like it looks a little tight. And I've had moments where I've gotten away with murder, and I thought, oh, okay, I'm doing good. And then it's that back end, and I think I'm doing to do well because I have a lot of yellow on here. So, but you you can once you get up to the top and it's sevens and eights, and you're losing those, you you lose the game quickly. 4, 8, 12, 16. 16 for your boys. So that would be uh, 39. 39 plus 6, 45. All right. And, and that plus that last 9, that is my best score. If I'm scoring this right, uh, plus 9, which is 108. How you feel? I feel good. All right. Here we go. That was a molly whopping, and I, that's probably the best victory I've had, too. So, man, I'm performing for the camera here. Hopefully, you got a good full look here at the, uh, 
the AI mode, which I think is really fun. But I'm going to come back with my uh, final thoughts here, and you can just skip right to them. Maybe you stuck around uh, for all parts of this. Um, I, didn't, I tried to decide whether I want to cut it or not, so I figured, hey, let me just put, play the whole thing, and you can decide whether you want to watch it or not. There you go. All right, party people, final thoughts here on Gardens of Babylon. Um, this is uh, the solo mode. I'm going to say about the multiplayer first. This game uh, is really interesting multiplayer. There's a lot of interaction just based on uh, the fact that you can place the tiles anywhere. So once you create the two tiles, you can kind of go up instead of left to right like the solo mode. So there's freedom of placement in tiles. It's not the same thing as a solo mode, uh, which just goes left to right building tiles. Um, so that's a really crazy interaction. And as you can see how the cascade goes in two player, um, it can get crazy at three player, which is fun. The same idea though, the same strategies kind of come to life in the, the, multi, the, the uh, solo mode because it's kind of simulating the two player game. And I like that. At first I was like, oh, this is kind of simplistic AI, but there's a reason why. It's because the game is a puzzle within itself. So even if you were kind of, you know, whooping the AI, you could just take a tile away and then you, you would have another set of challenges. And believe me, with a restricted pool, let's say down to three or even two, you have some serious choices to make. And what if they're not choices with routes that go up and now you're getting stuck? Uh, and uh, you got to figure out how to use that movement. And that's the thing. I didn't have to use it that much, but that movement reset, you'll have to use that and figure out how to get up there and get your guys up there, your gardeners up there. So there's a lot of this puzzle to it. And I like how you have to figure out how, okay, if I end this row, they're going to start the next one. Or if I start this row, they're going to end the next one. I need to figure out how I'm going to plan this, how I'm going to figure out the inside so I can cascade down and get those last tiles in there. So there's a lot of interesting choices. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like this is a solo mode that rounds out the whole package. I can tell you for people who are not fans of uh, Beat Your Score stuff, I don't know if this is going to change that over. All I can tell you is, is that this is a, you know, a pretty dang on good 30 minutes of fun um, that I had um, with this prototype. And this is in prototype form. And as you can see, the graphic design is really, uh, really, really nice um, quality as it is already. So I wouldn't, I can't wait to see what the final looks like. If, uh, if you back this, I'm sure the final will look really good here. Um, good production so far. Um, I'll leave it there. How about that? And uh, I can't tell people what to do with their money. So I hope Hopefully I helped you make an informed decision whether you want to back Gardens of Babylon. And you can tell by my thoughts how I feel about it, at least, initially. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, feel free to like and subscribe if you so choose. And I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time, party people. You have a wonderful day.